So I wanna share with you some pretty surprising GMO foods that you may have never heard about. But before I do, I wanna share uh, something with you. This morning when I had my breakfast, um, I, I always like to read labels. So I noticed that this product had two grams of fat per serving size, which is incredible, but good thing it had zero cholesterol. But if you scroll down, it has this very interesting new term I wanna share with you. It says contains bioengineered food ingredients. I don't know if you can see that, probably can't see that. Bioengineered food ingredients. What the heck is that all about? So the definition of bioengineered food ingredients is this, food that contains detectable genetic material that has been modified through certain lab techniques that cannot be created through conventional breeding or found in nature. Now, a few years ago, food manufacturing companies um, were a little concerned that GMOs were going to be labeled on their products because Vermont and a few other states uh, passed laws that now had to label products with GMOs. And just so you know, GMOs are basically foods that they've altered the DNA, the genetics. And food manufacturing companies were concerned that more and more states would legalize or pass laws to reveal what foods were genetically modified versus which ones weren't. So they had a very, very bright idea. Um, they came up with a new term called bioengineered ingredients. It sounds different than GMO foods. Uh, the branding shows this wonderful sun on these great crops with this little plant growing. So it, it seems very, very safe and healthy, but basically bioengineered products are another name for GMOs. It pretty much bypassed the GMO labeling uh, problem that they had. Now, if we again look a little closer at the definition of bioengineered food ingredients, it says food that contains detectable genetic material. Okay, detectable. Here's the problem. When you process a food, especially when you ultra process a food, like in 70% of all the refined foods out there, um, this genetic material uh, falls below the radar. GMOs are not detectable in some of these really ultra refined products because they're using chemicals and high heat and pressure and solvents to basically break down these GMO products so small that they're undetected. So what does that mean? It means that if, if the more processing you do to a product, the more you can get rid of the traces of GMO. So they don't have to be labeled as bioengineered food ingredients. Whereas if they had GMO um, labeling, if they came from a GMO product, they would have to put it on the label. So it's uh, actually an ingenious way to hide GMO in products below the radar. And on top of that, these companies don't even have to use the term bioengineered food ingredients. They can instead, they can use either a QR code, that little uh, barcode that gives a lot more information about a product that little code that you have to scan with your um, cell phone or a phone number that you'd have to call to get more information uh, if this product was bioengineered or not. So the question is, who has time to scan this barcode or call the number? And most customers, probably 99% of all customers don't have a clue of what the term bioengineered food ingredients really means. And so now you know what it means. And I really appreciate if you can spread this video to your friends and family far and wide so more and more people can understand what this new term is. All right, let's go back to the main reason for this video, which are surprising GMO foods that you may be eating that you may wanna consider not eating. All right, number one, yellow squash, okay? That is GMO. Now realize if you're having organic yellow squash, it's not gonna be GMO, all right? Number two, beets. Like the vast majority of beets, especially in the US, um, probably 95% of them are GMO. And that is where we're getting our sugar from as well. So if something says sugar on the label, um, chances are it's from beets and chances are it is GMO sugar. All right, number three, papaya is GMO. Number four, eggplant is GMO, unless it says non-GMO or organic. All right, number five, green zucchini is GMO, right? Unless it says organic. And number six, certain apples are GMO. 
And number seven, which is most surprising, salmon is GMO. Now, if it says wild caught salmon, uh, it's not going to be GMO, but certain farm raised salmon is GMO. So this is just another reason why to choose organic if possible. But if you don't have organic available, at least as a bare minimum, do the non-GMO. But there's some real interesting information about what non-GMO really means. And I put that video up right here. Check it out.